I uh, was working Memorial Day in 2006. When I was in the parade. My father-in-law wanted to come down with his grandkids and watch me march in the parade. It was a very hot day that day. And I guess from the heat and the amount of walking they had to do, his potassium level had dropped and caused an issue with his heart, which at the time we weren't aware of. And they were due to go back to our house in Ridgefield for a barbecue. And uh, my wife's grandmother wasn't feeling well. So they changed the plans at the last minute to have it here in New Canaan at his residence. And my wife packed up all the food that she was going to make and brought everything down here. And it's that that miraculous event that uh, put my father-in-law and I sitting side by side when he actually had his heart attack. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been there. Um, they invited me over for dinner, and as you can see, I don't turn down much food. <laughs> so I uh, stopped by the house at about uh, five minutes to six, and. I was talking to my father-in-law, and he was actually teasing me because we were having hot dogs, and I was putting ketchup on mine, and he was putting mustard on his, and we got a little, little debate over that. And I turned away for a minute, and I looked back, and uh, it was like somebody flipped a switch. And he was sitting in his chair, and he was completely unresponsive. And he gave all that story away. Uh, he came down for dinner, or lunch that day, barbecue, and uh, he's having ketchup on his hot dog. Like, just couldn't understand that. I was putting mustard on mine, and uh, so we got into a little pass, and he was sitting right next to me, and uh, that's the last I remember. It's a good thing, hang, a good thing to have a son-in-law who likes you, and big, enough, and big enough. So he was able to pick me up, lay me down, uh, start with CPR, and uh, call for help, and then did get his uh, AED, and came in and got me restarted. I remember telling the EMTs that uh, I was a heavy when they were picking me up on the stretcher to take me out. And uh, remember telling them that, that I, uh, I was a heavy. So I'm just cautioning them on that. Like I said, I've been on AED calls before, and we go in and we do our job. We know how to handle things when we go in on a, on a medical call. We do it all the time. And when it's somebody you care about, it's a little, little different. So there was a little bit of screaming in my radio. Um, calling for help, because it was actually me that needed the help at that point. And uh, my wife reminded me, so I asked for an AED. But the first thing I did, just out of reaction, was I asked for an AED. And my wife reminded me, well, you have one in your car. So I ran out and I got one from the car and came back in. We hooked him up to the AED. And uh, my candle from the ambulance car, I checked it later on after, after the save. And from the time I turned it on to the time he had a normal heart rhythm again, it was 73 seconds. Well, it's uh, 48 months, something like that, since it happened, and I have uh, three grandchildren, new. I have, I'm going to have a total of nine here coming up by the end of this year, beginning of next. And uh, we had a wedding, my daughter got, one of my daughters got married. Uh, we have five children, and we have one daughter left to get uh, married, and I'm, I'm going to be there. Yeah.